Welcome back, Heat Makers. I'm BJR. Today we're going to be working with Cakewalk. My man Jimmy Flame is about to show us a couple of techniques with audio drivers that are really going to come in handy. Flame, let's get into it. Thank you, BJR, for that wonderful introduction. I am Jimmy Flame from Media Rhythm Institute. I want to give a big shout out to iRhyme for producing the song All Day that you heard in that wonderful introduction. You can get it at Bandcamp, hit that link in the description, or follow the link popping up on your screen right now. Today, I'm in Cakewalk, and today, I'm talking about drivers. And we're going to uh, talk about some audio issues that you may encounter along the way. There are some universal truths in the recording world, and these universal truths can be applied to pretty much any DAW that you're in, but I'm in the free uh, Cakewalk today. You can also go down to the description and find a link to that as well if you wanted to download Cakewalk for yourself, but if you're in some other DAW, or if you're even in Cakewalk, just follow along and follow the principles of, uh, of this tutorial. Let's just say the scenario is this. You're, you're, you've just recorded something, and you're not getting any audio, so let me fix this to where I don't get any audio. <laughs> And you push play, and yeah, your thing's going along, nothing's happening, your awesome, uh, you know, uh, punish compressor isn't working, none of that's going on. Well, it's because you need to route everything through your master bus. And first thing you want to do is go down here into your faders and check to make sure that everything is going to the master. And it is, but there's still no audio. So you go over to your master bus, which I have over here. I have some other buses on the side there. But oh, Look, in, out, none, click it. I need to set this speaker stereo. Boom, let's play. Yeah, we got audio now. So anyhow, <laughs> let's talk about drivers. Now that we've got our audio set up, let's talk about drivers. Drivers are very important for the recording process and in Cakewalk uh, and like any other DAW, you can find them in your preferences. In Cakewalk, you go to edit. And then come on down here to preferences, hit that, and then boom, this opens up. And you're going to see a, a plethora of choices that you can go to. I'm going to stick with audio for now, but uh, just to let you know, you can also control your MIDI, your files, your VST settings, which is really important for sounds, all of your project info. You can customize your display, all that good stuff here. But for now, we're going to stick up here to the devices. My input driver is not selected because, because I'm using the microphone right now in OBS to bring you this wonderful tutorial. Uh, but the output driver is important here. Have it set to speakers. Your output drivers will change dependent on the driver that you've chosen to use in your audio universe. And if you go down to playback and recording, you can see my driver mode up here. I'm in Wasapi Shared. Today I'm covering three drivers. We're going to go with Wasapi Shared, Wasapi Exclusive, and the almighty ASIO. Again, I'm in Wasapi Shared, and all this really means is that uh, while Cakewalk is open, I can go in and out of Cakewalk while running it in the background and say I run into an issue, I need to look at a quick tutorial for a quick fix, I go over to YouTube, it's going to enable the system to play the YouTube uh, audio back through your speakers without having to change the driver, which is really convenient. Now, while you're, and this is all good for mixing and all that good stuff, while you're recording, uh, if you're recording live instruments, you might want to choose something like Wasapi Exclusive. And you can change that just by clicking on driver mode. And you can see that the option is there, Wasapi Exclusive. I'm not going to click it because then it's going to turn my microphone off. And I'll explain that here real quick, why that happens. When you're in Wasapi Exclusive mode, what it does is the Cakewalk takes over the entire, all the drivers, all the audio drivers, and it makes it exclusive to Cakewalk only. So only stuff going in and out of Cakewalk will be heard through your speakers. Wasabi exclusive is uh, beneficial because it crunches down those latency values to almost nothing. Nothing's really nothing in the mil in the millisecond world, but it it really does make a difference if you're recording in Wasapi exclusive mode. You keep Cakewalk open, you can play back, and then you can still hear the audio through the speakers. Thirdly, is ASIO. Now sometimes ASIO drivers are required depending on, and that's found down here, depending on the software you're using to get a live instrument in. Say you want to record drums with a microphone, say you want to record a guitar with a direct input or a DI bass, whatever. You might want, you might want to be able to crunch down your latency values 
to uh, even further uh, because of that because of the nature of live recording everything's got to be on point with live recording unless you want to you know later we're not even gonna get into that because we're not doing that <laughs> some drivers do require azio though so that's where you would choose azio here and the, the benefit with azio is you can actually choose your buffer size and then you can also open the azio driver uh, uh, externally and choose from there and then you can sync it all up with uh, cakewalk so wasapi exclusive is exclusive to the daw in which you've opened it shared will enable sharing of the audio driver throughout your your entire computer's audio universe and azio uh pretty much when you run into those issues where you have to use an azio driver because that's what your limitation is with recording and overdubbing so now let's talk a little bit about buffering and what, what, what is he talking about when he needs buffering? Anyhow, <laughs> we're talking about like latency, you know? So if you go down, I'm, I'm, again, let me go back up here. I'm in Wasabi Shared, right? Uh, and this is going to be true pretty much across the board for any driver you choose. When you go down to Sync and Caching, um, this is basically instructions to the system on how fast, you know, how big, how, how much do you want to crunch these files in order to have that real-time playback. So the default playback uh, in out buffer size is 256 kilobits and the record buffer size 256 kilobits you can see this down here this gives you like very close to real time playback and recording right here you can crunch it by uh decreasing this number i usually don't because i mean th then you're then you're starting to uh, dive into like computer usage cpu usage issues all that good stuff things that can cause your program to crash 256 is a good starting point if, if your computer can handle 256 you can stay on it you can also lower that a little bit if you wanted to just pinch that latency in just a little bit further you can uh usually typically you do this by divided by two you know so 256 divided by two you would knock it down to that you don't want to really mess with numbers in between so if you are having latency issues and not audio issues this is the place you should go to fix those latency issues and you just go into your file system once again and adjust your playback and record buffer sizes now the difference between these two is playback uh, this is only going to impact your playback so when you don't have anything armed to record and you're just playing back this is going to be your buffer size this is great for mixing uh, you can even up it for mixing because you don't need that extra cpu space for for an additional audio signal coming in and for recording the principle is the same as you record if you have you know uh, tracks armed to record and the record button is pressed then this is the buffer it's going to use all right let's get out of here we're going to check out our sound real quick we've got all of our outputs going to master from each track and our master is set to our speakers in stereo thanks for tuning in thank you for tuning in make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment and anything that you feel like we miss going on some drivers also please let us know anything else that you want us to cover in any more of our hotshot tutorials peace